Hi and thank you for watching. This is another update to share some of the latest insights into aspects happening around us in the world that may be linked to a window of time that will soon be upon us. If you have watched the previous two videos you will know that I have pointed out the window of time from December 1st to December 10th as a possible time frame that would seem to carry great significance for those who are following the plan laid out by Albert Pike in 1871. In Pike's letter to his colleague Mazzini, he laid out in graphic detail their plans for conducting three world wars, of which two already occurred, according to the instructions in Pike's letter. Now, over the past weekend, I have seen another possible connection between events scheduled for this coming weekend and the December 1st or 2nd date that is depicted on the Hermit card which was displayed on The Economist magazine predicting the globalists plan for the world in 2017. On November 8, 2018, the French began with protests dressed in yellow reflective vests against fuel taxes that were imposed on them by President Macron. And in this news report, we see that a call for a third act to another protest has been made, calling on 5 million French to fill the streets of Paris. What I find significant about this is how these protests are lining up with what is shown on the Hermit card that the Rothschilds have put on the cover of their Economist magazine in 2016. On this card we see a figure holding a lantern which is supposed to provide light to the protesting masses and the protesting masses clearly arrayed in yellow, very similar to what is shown in this photograph. We also see a celestial alignment depicted with the moon having a waning crescent that has just passed the constellation Leo. Now this date lines up with December 1st or 2nd in 2018 as shown in the previous videos. And we have to ask whether these protests in France will be a key in starting another French revolution which could finally result in the third world war breaking out and ushering in the time known as the Tribulation under the rulership of the Antichrist. In the yellow marching crowd, we also see that one of the placards shows the EU crossed out, and with Britain's exit from the EU, which was endorsed this past Sunday, combined with the protests being planned for this coming Saturday in France, and what these may involve, it may very well lead to the collapse of the European Union in the days ahead. This just shows us that the entire plan and the execution thereof have been guided by Satan over the past 150 years through those that he put in positions of authority in exchange for their worship, a tactic that he also tried on Jesus but failed to get the desired outcome. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. When we read the next passage, it is clear to see that positions of authority in the world are currently given to those who are willing to worship Satan, only when Jesus returns to the earth at his second coming, and when the seventh trumpet sounds, will the kingdoms of the world be taken from Satan and given back to Jesus. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord, and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. This should tell you something about those who are the heads of governments in every country today. They would not receive that position except they worship the God of this world. In the following excerpt, we see how this plan would seem to line up with what is shown to us in the Hermit card that could be a prediction of what is about to occur in Paris over this coming weekend. We shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere the citizens 
obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries, will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, brought finally out in the public view. Can you see how the person holding up the lantern fits in with this plan to expose the world to the light of Lucifer that comes about during a bloody turmoil and this would seem to be linked to the yellow vest protests. Pike then continues, This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. The only way in which Christianity would be conquered by Satan would be when Jesus gathers in the main or second part of the harvest, and hands the corners of God's harvest over to Satan for gleaning, who in this case would fulfill the role of the poor and the stranger. This is described in the harvest model that is provided to us in the word of God. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean riddance of the corners of thy field when thou reapest, neither shalt thou gather any gleaning of thy harvest. Thou shalt leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am the Lord your God. I have provided a series of five videos to explain this in more detail, which I have also linked in the description below. From a Christian perspective, we know that the pure doctrine of Lucifer that will be brought into the public view will be revealed by the son of perdition, and this can only happen once the restrainer has been removed. I have a feeling that all of this was planned as part of the deception that will be brought over the world to explain away the removal or the disappearance of those who are known by our Redeemer. We see this explained in the Word of God in the following passage. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not in the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Another telling aspect represented at the bottom of this card is the large crack in the earth, which could point to a massive earthquake or some destructive event that will occur during this time. This could be caused intentionally by those with the means to bring it about, similar to a 9-11 event, but having a much stronger global impact. This could be lining up with what we read in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3 as well. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. I have also shown how those who are sold to our enemy have put out another date in the iPetco 2 animation that points to December 10th of 2018, when this plan would seem to have reached completion, and where the Antichrist would have assumed his position as world ruler. Now I do not know if my interpretation of what I see is correct, or whether the fact that we have multiple aspects lining up between what is depicted on this card and what we see happening in the world is purely a coincidence. These depictions could very well also apply to a future date where this alignment could occur, marking a date that may be important. But for 2018 there are striking connections between what is currently planned to happen in a few days from now and what is depicted on this card. We have had very little news about Trump's deal of the century over the past few weeks, 
and he will be attending the G20 summit that will be held in Argentina and this will end on December 1st. Macron has threatened Trump saying that he would release a plan of his own for the Middle East if Trump failed to do so soon after the midterms. Could it be that President Macron would push something through before Trump can do so and that this will also coincide with this time frame? We live in very interesting times and we will soon know whether this understanding is true or false and whether these dates carry any significance. My only intention in sharing this information with you is so that you can be aware of what could possibly happen and to be ready and watching should our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ come for us during a time where events that would seem to line up with Bible prophecy would also seem to be intentionally hinted at by our enemy, Satan. I do not want you to be left behind when the opportunity remains for you to be in a position to be removed from the earth before all of this chaos or the storm that Trump referred to in 2017 breaks out over the earth. If you decide to reject this information then that is perfectly fine too as it is a free choice that only you can decide on. But know this that our Heavenly Father's intention is not for you to suffer what this world will experience under Satan's unrestrained rulership with a third of the angelic realm bound to him once the restrainer is removed. From what I see we may be at the threshold of entering a window of time during which exactly this could happen. If you have not watched the previous two videos, please watch them and please share this information with as many of your friends and family as possible. You are welcome to make copies of this and all the other videos in this channel and to share it with as many as you can in the time that remains. Information on YouTube and even the internet may not be around much longer, should the chaos break out over the world during the next week or two. If everything continues as per normal until December 10th, then the date shown on the enemy's media may have been intended for a future date. And then I will continue to search and share with you what I find, so that you can be ready when our Lord returns for us. I hope this will bless you as we continue to wait for our blessed hope. May our Heavenly Father bless you and keep you, and may He make His face shine upon you, and give you peace that transcends all understanding. Until next time, or until we meet our Savior and each other in the air, God bless.